Hi everyone, if you are old here, thanks for being here again. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer. Before any further ado, let's get started. And this is 4 by 4 inches. Now, I'm going to select my rent angle over right here. Then I'll draw a rent angle here like this. Then I'm going to select this color over here. Okay. Then I'm going to click, then click on this icon over here. Then I'll drag it in this way. Then I'll click OK. Alright. Now, having this, I'll come back again, click here, then I'll select my test to, uh, pen tool, then I'm going to click over here, then click around the here, and click around here, then you drag, you drag it this way, then hold your hot key, then you click. Then you come down over here. Then you drag it like this. Now hold your control key. Then you come down here. Then you use this one and to turn it around. Play around with it then and select make sure you have what you want then come back again hold your alt key you click here then you combine it now i'm going to select this orange color and i'll drop my two so this is what i have then i'll drag it down okay sorry i'll drag it up then use my arrow key then to bring it down okay then this is what i have i'm going to draw a cycle again select your ellipse tool then hold your shift key then you drag it to make a perfect cycle then Turn off the fifth column, then apply a stroke. I'm going to use the same color here, then make it five. Okay, then drop it, control A, then apply vertical alignment, then control D to deselect. Then I'm going to I'm going to drag it up this way. It's okay. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. Ctrl J. Then go to your property. Then turn off the stroke. Then apply a fill column. Now hold your hot key. Then to drag it in like this. Okay, now I'm going back again to my background and I'm going to click here, I'll turn this off, then I'm going to turn this one on, then I'll bring this image down to this place. Then scale it out. Then okay. Now what I use here is multiply. The blending mode is multiply. Then the opacity is hundred percent. Now, then hold your alt key to apply the clipping mask. 
then you, when you check here you can see this symbol then click okay now having done this one i'm going back again then to bring a light effect then bring it in and drop you can see then i'll drag it to the position i want this way then i'll click ok all right now having done this one then i'm going to this place again turn this one off now i'm going to bring this image down to this place then position it well now hold your alt key again and apply a clipping mask you see then okay so this is what we have now then i'm going back here again now turn this one off then i'm going to bring this shape then i will drop it over here then now i'm going to put them in different location this one i'll drop it here i'll click on this one then i'll drop this one over here then i'll drop this one over here then i'll drag this one over here then i'll scale it out a bit this way then this is what i have now i'm going to duplicate this one then i'll take this one over here then reduce the size ctrl j to duplicate then i'll drag one over here i will reduce the size then ctrl j again to duplicate Then I'll drag it up here. Then OK. So now that we have this one, then I'm going to select all the shapes. Hold your shift key to select, then Ctrl J. And I'm going to name it. shapes then this one here i'm going to name this one to group this one then that's my image then this one as the background Then I will go back again. I'll go back again. I'll turn this one off. Then I'm going to bring this one. I'll drop it over here. Then I'll scale it out a bit. Ctrl A to apply vertical alignment. The font here, I'm going to need uh, leave the name in the description. Then now i'm going to type the name over here then i'm going to use the font called a grazing maze
then reduce the size then you drop it over here use your arrow key then to move it up then I apply a character space then make it 100 select the name then make it 100 the character space okay then Ctrl A apply vertical alignment then Ctrl D to deselect now I'm going to select round shape here I'll drag it over here then I'm going to use this color here then use your arrow key then to move it up select your test tool then and type in the date then okay then i'm going to change the color to this color here then click ok then i like this one then click here then apply superscript then ok now reduce the size then drag it here Then I'm going to change the name of that font to theater. Then I'm going to apply the character space to 200. Then I'll select the boat, the rectangle and the test, then apply Ctrl A, then select vertical alignment, then Ctrl D to deselect. So this is what we have. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much.